Hello and welcome back to episode 10 of the Newcastle Career Mode on FIFA 18. In today's episode we've got some tough games coming up. We've got Arsenal away, which will be our first game. Then we've got Man City who are in 5th, West Ham are in 9th. And we've also got Brighton who are in 18th. But I'm going to give you 3 seconds to see if you can find Arsenal on that table. Nope, that's because they're bottom of the Prem. That's just crazy. They're bottom of the Premier League. They've got 11 points out of 16 games. Arsene Wenger would have been sacked by now. He would have been, let's be honest. But unfortunately with my team, there are quite a lot of players not fit. Uh, so we need to probably put... I mean, Ben Arthur on the bench. We'll probably put... Colback, probably... Now we'll probably put Sessignor and uh, Mankio. Uh, we'll probably put Dummett there. I'll uh, put Harrison there. Uh, oh, I don't want to play Ben. And we'll put Dwight Gale up front. Change the captaincy to Shelby. Uh, that'll be the team going into the game then. Alright, let's get going. Come on, Newcastle. Oh, great play from Shelby. Looks at Dwight Gale. Barnes, Colback. Puts out for Harrison, who looks on Mankiel's run. Dwight Gale's making that run at the back post. Ah, oh, straight at the keeper. Good start, though. Oh, shit, what? No! What the hell? Oh, I'm still conceding against Arsenal, even though they've got the worst team in the bloody Prem. That's just too simple. Sessignon got cut out. Damn it. Oh, I shouldn't have got cut out, but remember. I should have kept remembering and oh might have been a mistake putting them in. Go on Shelby, have a pop. Oh Jesus! Yes, Shelby! What a goal! What a hit! Bloody hell! Oh, lovely play. Go on, Dwight Gale. Cut back. Finds always Perez. Looks at Dwight Gale again. He's wrong footed. Chambers! Oh, great save. Oh, my God, he missed again. Oh, lucky, but good pressure again, lads. Oh, good save from Spina at first, but then... Oh, Dwight Gale just smashed it wide. Somehow he missed. Go on, Dwight Gale. Great hold-up play. Looks for Perez. Oh, beautifully worked there. Great play from Dwight Gale. Passes to Iosi Perez, and Iosi Perez is just shushing the camera, shushing the fans. Anyone who doubted him, oh, that was beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. A Dwight Gale holds out lovely, spots the run of Iosi Perez, and Iosi Perez just slots it home past Ospina. All right, that is half time. We're, we are winning 2 1, and deservedly as well, with all those shots. Uh, possession we could work on, but. Uh, so far so good for Newcastle against Arsenal. Lovely play, lovely goal, Harrison. Ref! What? How's that not foul? God damn, Ref, that's a, surely a foul. God, you've got the pace to be holding. Oh, no, he doesn't. Finds Perra. What a dead shot. Oh, you and Richie on. Nah, Harrison's not that tired. No, Sanchez has found some room here. Oh, I could hit the post. No, oh, but Welbeck skies it. Oh, no, I'm going to have to go part of the bus. Sanchez is coming through. God damn it. Made that challenge. Oh, he sort of does. Bruma. Oh, no. Oh, God. Good save for Ben Foster there. They do have a corner in 90th minute. Can we get this out? Come on. Jesus. Go on, damn it. Straight out, straight out. Yes. Shoot. Oh, that's full time there. Thank God. God damn, that was a great result from uh, Newcastle there. A 2 1 win against Arsenal. <laughs> They're still bottom of the Premier League. God damn, they just can't, can't do well at the moment, Arsenal. Right, we just got an offer for Paul Dummett for a loan. I only want a short loan. I'd rather them go out for a short loan, to be honest. There you go, short term, that's what I want. And they want me to pay 6% of the wage, that's fine. I don't like how the bloody uh, announcers just announcing all the results in the background. That's bloody annoying. All right, so now we are playing West Ham away, going to the uh, London Stadium. Uh, everyone's fully fit in the first team, which is good. 
Um, oh, everyone is fully fit. That is good. All right, because then we've got the game against Man City as well that we have to think about. So I might actually make some more changes. We might bring Richie. Richie can start. Um, Hayden maybe can come on and start for Marino. We'll also play the cells for. No, 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 let's not play that. We'll put Izzy Perez on the left. And then right back, can Mankio? Yeah, I'll put Mankio there as well. Mankio had a good game. So that'll be the team going into West Ham. And we are going up against West Ham here at London Stadium. Oh, lovely turn. Mitrovic finds Ben Arthur. Ben Arthur cuts in. Penalty. Oh, ref. Might want to keep an eye on that. Go on, Ben Arthur. Scoop time and shoot. Oh, that was going in. Oh, great defending though. Oh, but we're still coming back at them. But Shelby here. Looks for Richie. Richie puts one in. Perez back post. Oh, unlucky. Stout got it away. Finds Shelby. Shevelds off Coete quite well. Looks for Hayden. Finds Perez. Finds Ben Arthur. He holds it off. Looks for Perez again. Puts it in for. Ah, oh, good defending from West Ham there. See if we can get anything before half time. Ben Arthur here. Cuts back, finds Hayden, looks for Mitrovic, Mitrovic cuts back, oh, I was watching Hayden but Richie's there, go on, Richie, ah, oh, another good tackle from the West Ham defence, this defence has been solid at the back there, god damn, can't get past them, oh, I'll have a little switch up to Richie, Mitrovic holds up, looks for Ben Arthur's run, watches Richie's run, Richie picks it up, shoots, oh, Adrian, oh, good save there. Oh, we're going to make a stop here. Aaron is going to come on for Izzy Perez. He's had a good game, Perez. Let's get some more pace down that left-hand side. Go on, Mitrovic. Put that away. Oh, my. That's probably one of the plays you do want on the ball. Oh, do I make that swap? No, I'm not going to make that swap. That was unlucky, though. A lovely play. Absolutely beautiful play. Come on. Go on, Richie. That's all you, son. That's all you, son. Oh, Another great tackle for the West Ham player there. God damn, what do I have to do? Can we get something here? Can we get something here? Yes! Come on, Ben Arthur puts one away. Makes it 1 0. I was getting a bit worried there. We've gone to the 80th minute to get our first goal. We were pressing that West Ham defence hard, but they were keeping us out, being very stubborn at the back. But when Ben Arthur gets a chance like that, you you don't want to give him the chance because he'll put it away. Great finish from Ben Arthur there. Oh, quality. Right, come on, that's full time there. Yes! A 1 0 victory and also, more importantly, a clean sheet. Well played. We deserve that great clean sheet. We pressed the uh, West Ham defence there. They did it. They did very well. Probably one of the hardest games I had to play. Oh, damn it. I just went straight into the game. I didn't even look at making any changes. Whoopsie daisy. No, I might come back to haunt me because I think not all our players are fully fit there. Hopefully we can get a good result against these guys. But they are a very strong team and they're very good at going forward. And I'm not very good at keeping goals out. So this is going to be a goal fest, I reckon. Oh, God damn. They're getting closer and closer. Right, this is going to be our first attack. We haven't had many. But can we make a great attack straight away? No, no, we can't. Oh, go on, Mitrovic. Oh, go! I thought it was made the save there. Whoa, what a goal! Quality goal from Mitrovic there. Great play. Oh, a great little turn. Powers it. I thought Edison made the save there. Probably a bit of a well, close replay will show. Here we go. Oh, he does make a save. But it's just too powerful. And it goes in the back of the net. One nil up against Manchester City. No. Oh, God damn it. I thought this was going to happen. Man City, they are pressing my defence quite a lot. I, mean, that's one of the, I think that's one of the youngsters who scored as well. Pretty good finish from him. Yeah, oh, unlucky. 
Woo! Mitrovic with a great little scissor kick there. God damn. No, 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 no. God damn it. I think that's Gabriel Jesus. He just puts one up against me there. That's 2-1 to Manchester City now. Oh, God damn. I was trying to hold out for half time, but they were... Just, just kept going and going and going. Oh, here we go. Oh, win the header. Go on. Oh, my goodness. No. Mitrovic hit the crossbar twice. Oh, my God. Come on. That was so unlucky right at the end there. Go on, Bruma. Yes, Bruma. Bruma gets his first goal for Newcastle, making it 2 2 against Manchester City. Great goal. Great header from him. No, go on, Yedlin. Watch Gabriel Jesus. Oh, great save for Ben Foster. All right, let's make this swap as well. Rich is going to come off that too. No. Oh, my God. What a goal. How are we defending that? That was awful defending. God damn, Jesus puts it 3 2 to Man City now. Go on. Don't let him score. Yes. I'll play Ben Foster. Oh, right, this is nice. This is nice. Oh, come on. Trippier? What's Trippier doing at uh, Man City? Well, his car walker not good enough. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, that's it. That's the killer. That's killed us off. Gamera, Jesus, just got a hat trick. Go on, Dwight Gale. Hey, 4-3. Come on, let's bring it back. Come on. I don't think we're going to have much time to get another goal, but... God damn, I'd love another goal. Ah, that's it. That is full time. We just lost 4-3, unfortunately. That man there. God damn, he is a nightmare to play against. Oh, we just got an interesting offer for Clark here. Now, I don't actually use him. And I've got some players. Let's have a look at shortest quick. We've got Fusamensa on there. That's about it. That tons of B. Um, I'll go have a look at some other centre backs actually because if we can get 10 mil for Clark, I'll take 10 mil. I don't want to take anything less than maybe 9.5, but I'll start at 10. Let's see if we can get the uh, Tony Pierce to get that. So let's go 10 mil. I'll be happy with that. They're playing. They're see 10 mil for Clark. He's 28 years old. He's a He's a decent centre back, don't get me wrong, but he's not filling into the team here. I've got Lascelles as well who can play. Dummett can play, but he's going out on a loan. So yeah, a new centre back will be needed in January. But now we'll have the app now we'll have some funds to actually do it. I'll probably make a short list for next episode. But if you've got any suggestions for any centre backs, not maybe first team, but maybe just like backup. Maybe around 70, round Clark's rated. Just another little Clark kind of player. Just put it in the comments and I'll have a look at it. But I'm just look, just seeing the top goal scorers there. Coutinho is bang in form. But then there's Ben Arthur and Mitrovic, who's also very in form as well. Watford have now come in for Kira Clark. All right, let me do the same thing for them as well. Whoever wants him can get him. Oh, see what they've done there. They're clever. I'm accepting that because then there's a 5% sell on clause. So whatever they sell it for, I'm going to make some money there. So that's all right. I'm happy with that one. I won't have took any less than 9 mil though. All right. So let's assume this uh, game against Brighton. All right, let's go second team, but we will make some more changes. Actually, all the changes have been made. I'm happy that second team going into this game. All right. Let's see if we can get a win against Brighton here. Oh no. Brian have just scored a penalty. It's not good.
Oh no, Brian are 2 0 up now. No, how are we? This second team's surely good enough to beat Brighton. Perez makes it 2 1. Oh, god damn it, we just lost to Brighton 2 1. Oh, that's not how I wanted to end the episode on two losses in a row. Alright, so next episode will be the start of the transfer window. Uh, we'll be playing Stoke and then we'll be starting to do some transfer business. So if you give me any suggestions to players you want me to buy, maybe you want me to look at loaning in or players you want me to look at who have a contract expiring, just give me, um, give me some suggestions and I'll uh, look into it. Alright, now we've got quite a lot of players actually leaving out, don't we? Alright, we've got some business got some business to take care of here. So we're not going to be playing that game, nope. Alright, so let's have a look. So we've got Bulgaria, nope. Training injury. Oh, you're kidding me. Please say he's left. Clark's just been injured for four months. Has he left? Oh my god, please say. Because that would be great business. Um, right, so Dummett is left on a loan. Gammers is left. Colback's left. Curtis Good's left. We've got Thill coming in. Woodman says left on loan as well. Alright. So quite a lot of players have left. Let's have a look at all the how that's left us with the squad now. So still we've got the, our first team all solid. And um, what about the bench? It hasn't affected the bench, but in reserves, we have got our new player in, Phil. Looks like a youngster. But a lot of players have left. Now, what is our budget? So I can give you guys an idea what to buy for my club. Because we probably won't have too much. Six mil. That's not right. Six seven. Can gang. Uh, so they've set seven mil there. That's seven mil for Colback and Gamma. So why haven't we got seven mil? Is that because it's gone into wages as well? I reckon it's because it's gone to wages as well. All right then. Right guys, I'm going to end it there. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And goodbye.